basically Georgia and Florida. Mm -hmm. سبحان الله. الله يا الله 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 أكبر الله الله People join the church, and Saturday night prior to church services, I'm the new reformed man. You know, I'm. They came to me just the thought, said, you know, what about Islam? Mm -hmm. And the only reference I had to Islam was when I was in the in the military in, the, in Vietnam. I was talking with a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and I was an atheist then, and he said my people were Muslim, and they're in Oakland. And he mentioned some reference in the Bible about Jesus. You know, the reference about having hair like wool and feet like burnished brass. And that's the only reference I had to Islam. So at that point, I said, you know, well, let me check out the Islam, you know. So how long ago before you, you thought to go check it out, had you remembered that from Vietnam? And what this was the time a, frame? This is approximately seven or eight years, something like that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So you're sitting on the church steps listening go, to the yeah, songs? Go, 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 no, no, singing songs. Okay. Oh, I'm singing now. Yeah, uh -huh. See, I'm happy. I got God in my life now. Right. And I was going to join the church. And so then the thought came to me, the little conversation we had. So I said, okay, I'm not going to join the church. I'll just go and try to find out about Islam. The very next day, I was coming home from work, and I passed the bus stop, and there was a Muslim sister in full hijab, mm -hmm. niqab and everything, you know. And I'm saying, thank God, because I'm God conscious now, right? Mm -hmm. you know, thank God. So I'm going to turn my car around and ask her, you know, where's her husband so I can ask him about Islam. Mm -hmm. By the time I turned around and came back, she was gone. The bus had come and she was, had come and she was gone. And I said, okay, well, you know, that's just how it goes. I went home. And I needed to come to the store again, and as soon as I came by the same bus stop, there was a Muslim brother standing there, dressed with the, all the Muslim attire, you know. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't about to let him get away, mm -hmm. so I, I pulled my car over toward him. I, thought, I guess he thought I was going to hit him, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I got out the car, I never talked with anybody about religion, you know. So I didn't know what to say, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I got out the car, I started walking toward him, mm -hmm. and the words just came out my mouth. He said, "Man, hey, hey, man, you know, God sent me to you." For you to teach me about religion mm -hmm. and I was crying and everything you know and the brother saw I was sincere and he invited me to dinner and he told me about Islam after that mm -hmm. and how soon after that did you take Shahada and become Muslim in my in my in my in my mind's eye I was Muslim from the time I saw that Muslim sister because uh -huh. <laughs> that was the first for me it was a sign right and just the brother was a confirmation he gave me information and I had taken something of Shahada Mm -hmm. uh, and then he told me I should go over to the West End because Imam Jamil, formerly known as Rap Brown, was the Imam over there. And we, you know, a lot of black people knew Rap Brown, and we didn't know he'd become Muslim. Mm -hmm. So I went over to the West End, uh, Masjid, Imam Jamil was giving a cookbook there, and I formally took Shahada there in the West End. Mashallah. This is in 1982. And how did you feel after taking the Shahada? From the time that I, the knowledge that Allah put in my heart about him, mm -hmm. It was just a, 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 it's a, a continual increase mm -hmm. because for me, you know, I'm a very simple man. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, and with a hard head. And a big motorcycle. Well, not the motorcycle, but the hard head. <laughs> yeah. And so God, for me, God has to show me. Mm -hmm. You see, and so with the, it was just leading me to the finalization, you know, the acceptance of Islam. You know, the sister, the brother, and then bring me to the West End area where there were Muslims, and it was like heaven on earth compared to what I was doing from before, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, how does it feel, the different, you see the sunshine here, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to the night, you know, mm -hmm. peace as opposed to chaos, you know. Right. I mean, Islam is uh, the, Islam is, you know, the source of peace for me. And after you accepted Islam, how did your family react to the fact that you had become Muslim? My father was somewhat disappointed because after they saw me going through the atheist stage, and when I finally accepted God, then they, you know, they, they just knew I was going to join the church. Mm -hmm. And when I came back and told them, you know what, well, you know, I don't think I'm going to join the church. I think I'm going to try to look at Islam. Mm -hmm. And that was a conflict between us from that point on, you know, because they really wanted me to be a Christian like them. Mm -hmm. And
And from that point, my father and I, you know, we love each other, but the difference in theology occurred at that time, mm -hmm. you know. And when I finally became Muslim, you know, uh, we, we became a challenge for each other. Mm -hmm. Not in a physical sense, you know, nothing physical like that, but just in terms of the theology, mm -hmm. you know. So discussions that we used to have where he dominated with his uh, Christian ideas because I didn't study religion, I didn't study the Bible or anything. So he could say what he wanted to say. Mm -hmm. once, I become Muslim, once I became Muslim, you know, I started to study everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I read the Bible from cover to cover, to cover in, a, in a few, few short months. Right. So I studied, I read everything I could, everything I had not been reading uh, 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 about religion, you know, or studying about religion, I studied everything. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Vedas, what if not information of the Vedas, what the Buddhists believed, you know, they did a, a cross section of religion. Mm -hmm. And then I started to, and when I start, when after I had, uh, started to study the Quran, the very first time I opened up the Quran, and remember I said I'm a very basic man. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw the Arabic script, mm -hmm. you know, my heart, I mean, I started to cry because I was saying, like, this is God's word here. Mm -hmm. You know, this is God talking to us here. Mm -hmm. You know, and I knew at that point I had to try to find out what these words are saying. Mm -hmm. And then with, even with the English translation, uh, interpretation, uh, the limited interpretation of the English of the Quran, it was, <coughs> it was so overwhelming in terms of the amount of information and how precise the descriptions of our existence were. You know, the Quran stood out above any and every other book that I had read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now, have you, how long have you been Muslim now? I've been Muslim now approximately 27 years. All right. And in terms of Islam here in America and the growth of Islam in America, what have you seen transpire in that time since you first took Shahada? Well, I've seen Islam change from, in my time, in my lifetime, I've seen Islam change from a limited type of religion that was mainly associated with black people uh -huh. uh, to the universal Islam. Mm -hmm. that Allah SWT revealed it to be. Mm -hmm. I've seen Islam transform from a people who had very limited information about Islam, mm -hmm. so much so that most of us were just uh, perpetuating ignorance. Mm -hmm. uh, limited information to now there are books of tafsir from all those scholars, you know, Ibn Kathir, al qurtubi uh, all on and on. And it's all accessible even in our language. Mm -hmm. I've seen Islam go from a closet religion Mm -hmm. to a worldwide phenomena, which mm -hmm. now no one in the world can hardly say that they haven't heard anything about Allah, the Quran, Muhammad, peace be, peace be upon him. Uh, I've just seen Allah SWT raising the knowledge level of people about Islam worldwide, mm -hmm. accepting it or denying it, but still the knowledge is being presented to the world. And I ask you all to remember the very important rule, don't judge Islam by the people, but judge the people by Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa